Hello there, how is it going? Uh, if you ever wondered if you can SSH to your Android phone, let me say to you that you can do that. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do it. All you need to do is to install Termux on your Android phone and then do the steps that I'm gonna tell you now. I have already SSH to my Android phone. Let's try to do new fetch. I guess it's gonna work. Yes, I have installed it. You can see here I'm using Android 7. I guess this is the minimal version that you can use to do the SSH. And then you need to install your... Uh, after you install your Termix, you need to do PKJ update. Give it some time to update. First of all, uh, this, this is taken from this blog post. I will uh, put it in the description for me I prefer this method some other people use other methods some third party or some other applications for me I prefer this one and then you do PKJ this one you do it on your phone we are still on the phone these, uh, these comments you do them on your phone here it's the phone okay and then you do PKJ install open SSH I have done this before and it was installed on my phone sometimes you don't need to install it if it's already installed on your phone just like my case you wait for it for me it did the update and the size of the package was very small it's less than a megabyte one megabyte it's less than that I guess it's few hundreds of kilobytes it will check the thing for you okay and it will do the installation it's done. It's already the newest version. For you, you can check if it's installed or not. Uh, you can, if it's not installed, it will install for you just by running this command pkj install openssh. This is without the root. Remember this my phone is not rooted. Okay, if I run su here, it will say no su program found on this device, which means that it's not rooted. Okay. Termix does not supply tools for rooting, you need to root yourself, but for this tutorial you don't need to root your phone, it's already for non-rooted phones. And then you run sshd, alright, to make sure that the uh, daemon is running, afterwards you have a command to, you can stop it later by running pkl sshd to stop the server, open ssh server. And then you check the command. This command will help you check if the password configuration is enabled. By default, it is enabled, just like the blog says. But you, it's fine to check. You run this command, and then it says password authentication. Yes, it says like this. And then you make a password for your user. I did it myself. You just run the command password. Pass pass wd okay sorry for that enter you put your password that you're gonna use later for the authentication and then control c see it's very simple way of course forget to say this sorry for that you take your uh, ip address of your phone by running ef config for me i took this one you can run also ipa does it exist you can install it by default it doesn't exist on your Termix, you can install it and then you go to the next one which is this one we will do the connection again we will do it again, here it says anything it's literally anything I, I ok, it's any uh, because there is no specific user that you need to connect to, all you need to do is to prepare your password and you do this, let's do ssh blah, for example, or blah blah and then your IP address you need to specify the port because it's different it's 8022 and it says to us connection reset by peer let's change to another thing maybe because it doesn't accept more than a connection let's exit of this yes and let's do the again this command Oh, I'm facing this problem. Let's try again here. Oh, sorry. 
So yes, this problem probably is because the yeah I'll come back. I guess the daemon of the server SSH server on my phone has stopped it. All right, let's try again. Yes. So all I have to do on my phone before the those commands you just run them the way they are and then here you just do anything I, I did user at the beginning when I was showing you the first commands I can use for example blah blah <laughs> you can use do it yourself yeah it will accept anything just choose anything okay and then you put your password and then you're good to go there you go you can update you can install anything because when I did when I run PKG update it said that there are 42 packages that can be 44 44 packages that can be updated yes and then why so yeah as I said to you all these commands if you run them correctly you don't need to do it all you have to do all you need to is Termix you may not you need to install OpenSSH either it can be there uh, afterwards you can do the steps I told you and you can SSH to your phone quite simple quite easy I hope you benefit from this video and then see you in the next one